Hey Pisces, this is Jackie Tom, and this is your general reading. This is for the week of March 13th, 2023. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, these are general readings, so please take with you what resonates and leave behind what does not. Please tell me we're on the public side of things here. Or did I not do that right? Am I on the public side? We're assuming that I am. Okay. <laughs> Wait till the last reading for me to screw up everything. Okay, so Pisces. Let's see what we got going on here. A couple of energies that may or may not resonate with you this week are going to be a Cancer and or a Virgo. The help that you need is going to come rushing in. This is absolutely a week about getting what you want. Okay. Uh, if you are separated from someone or something, it is temporary. I want you to know that. Um, you're under a week of total victory. There's plans for a quick trip out of state. Quick road trip is what I'm seeing. Some type of outing. Some of you could be a date night or something like that. Also, I want to see your clearing is going off over here on my phone. There is a generalized caution to slow down. And this slow down is to slow down at work, slow down at home, and slow down in a vehicle. So let's jump in here and let's see what we have for Pisces. All right, Pisces, your first card up, you have the Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles says, if you've been juggling financially, this is an indication that new money is coming into play, that you're not going to be juggling so much financially. Also, you're getting ready to treat yourself to something. I'm not sure what we're looking at here, but you're definitely getting ready to treat yourself to something. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. Hello, Harry. That Five of Pentacles comes to them with a spiritual blessing as well as a financial blessing. Now, this could also be a blessing in the love life as well. As you take a look at this card, can you see there is a gentleman kissing her hand here? Right up here. So it could be some kind of blessing there too. And I do see some kind of a date night or outing. We also have Six of Swords. Six of Swords says you're leaving the trouble waters. You're heading off into the calm. You are headed straight to that castle down the path here. Okay? Straight to that castle. And it shows that it's been, um, it's been a hard road. It's been a hard road. It's been a hard journey. Emotions, you've got the death card energy, endings, closures, reverse, new beginnings. So, you know, this is, yeah, emote. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to scream, scream. Nothing wrong with this, you know. You can't have a new beginning without an ending. You may be putting an ending to some some listening to some people. So there's a lot of people here at play too. Center of the reading, we have the new beginning in love. And we have the chariot. The someone rushing in, the unexpected, yes, the, you know, rushing in. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. You know, it's the least expected when you unexpect it. It is something to do with the love life. Y'all are absolutely turning into a love reading here. Yes, with the hermit. You know, the hermit says you're going to feel the jiggity. Well, yeah, because you're under the death card energy. But it says that you're on the right path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. With that comes the Empress, the mother card. Positive changes on the home front. Love keeps coming. Definitely keeps coming. 
All right, so let's see what else we got here on further messages. Yep, just be still. On that Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups comes in. Options. Slow down. Slow down with the thinking process or the doing process. Just slow down a little bit. You've got options in many areas, so I want you to be able to have the time to think about these options before taking action. That Five of Pentacles comes in with the King of Pentacles. There's a Gemini energy here. Um, could be dealing with someone, a uh, wealthy man comes to mind. Someone of financial independence. Someone very easy to talk to. Six of Swords shows you have the Two of Swords. You've got decisions to make that you've been putting off for too long. And now it's the time to what really kind of sit down and dig into that and make those decisions. Okay. And we have the death card energy coming up with the five of cups. Overthinking things. You can never overthink things when you're under the death card energy. You know, this is changes and transformations. Don't think about it. Roll with the flow on it. And on that ace of cups, the sun. The sun shines brightly in all that you do. That's on your new beginning in love. And on the chariot, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands says, you know, Leo type energy, being true to yourself, taking care of you, putting yourself first for a change. Maybe venturing out into new, new places, new areas, places you've never been before. On the lover's energy. There is the star. It's wish fulfillment. Of course, there's a delay attached to it, but it's definitely wish fulfillment. And on the hermit. Five of swords. You know, don't be so guarded and defensive. You're on the right path. You're not going to feel it. A hermit says you never feel you're on the right path, but you are on the right path. So you need to trust where you're being led. And then we have the Empress card come up here. With that goes the Six of Pentacles. That's right. Just roll with it. Six of Pentacles comes in and says, you know, there's enough to get you by. There's enough to provide everything you're looking for. So let's see what comes up next. Bonus card. Four of Swords. The calm before the storm. Getting the rest that you need while you can. So what's coming up? I don't know. Let's go to the extended and find out. So if we end here, that is fine. You guys have a great week. Okay, so... Um, JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking personal readings. If you want to get into the extended, the link is in the description box below, as well as you can visit the channel's homepage. Hit the join button. The one monthly fee gets you the extendeds for all the extendeds for the entire month uh, for the one fee. And of course, cross watchers are welcome. So see you guys there. And if not, thank y'all for joining me this Monday. I appreciate it. You know you'll be seeing me tomorrow. Tomorrow's bonus read, Libra. Libra is the bonus read tomorrow. All right. See you over there. Bye.